In 2021, Volkswagen gave the Atlas a new look and updated the infotainment system, so there were few changes for 2023. In point of fact, we are pretty confident that Volkswagen is well into the development of the next generation Atlas, so we bet that the existing Atlas will probably survive for the remainder of its lifespan without receiving any significant enhancements. We like the Atlas in general, but neither the turbocharged four-cylinder engine that comes standard or the V6 engine that is available as an option have much punch, especially when you load the Atlas up with passengers. Look at our test group's full master rating underneath for additional detail on the mapbook and how it analyzes to other three-line SUVs like the Portage Pilgrim, Honda Pilot, and Kia Telluride. How does the mapbook drive? Neither chartbook motor is all that extraordinary. Even when there is no one in the cabin, the optional V6 engine has decent acceleration off the line but runs out of power when the Atlas is merging at high speed. Our Atlas test vehicle with a V6 took 8.5 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour, which is slower than many competing three-row SUVs. We additionally tried the base four-chamber shockingly, that MapBook was speedier, with 0 to 60 miles per hour coming up in 8.1 seconds. Despite its size, the Atlas is otherwise a pleasure to maneuver. It is a simple SUV to drive every day thanks to its composed and stable handling when turning. It also features smooth brakes and transmission shifting. How easy is it to use the Atlas? The bottom cushions of the Atlas front seats feel a little flat and long making them uncomfortably long for drivers who are short. Find bargains on a used Atlas near you. How about the interior? Up front, there is ample space in all directions, and the second row is wide enough to accommodate three adults. Additionally, Adults shorter than 6 feet can sit in the third row with surprising little discomfort. Additionally, the Atlas receives high marks for its clever sliding second row seat and excellent rear visibility. It takes some time to get used to the Atlas's digital gauge cluster, but once you get used to it, it has a lot of different functions. The touchscreen infotainment system interface has one drawback, you have to look at what you're pressing, which distracts you from driving. How is technology? There are a lot of technological features in the Atlas. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone support are included in the infotainment system. The stereo in the base model is pretty good, and the top model's optional 12-speaker system has impressive sound quality. The Atlas's voice control has been enhanced over previous versions, but it is still limited to fairly basic commands. Additionally, adaptive cruise control manages transitions and gaps well for such a large vehicle, and a number of driver assistance features are standard. Additionally, we enjoy the subtle lane keeping assist. The rear view camera is clear and gives you several options for viewing. How's the capacity? 
with a maximum cargo capacity of 96.8 cubic feet and 20.6 cubic feet of space behind the third row, the Atlas dominates the midsize SUV segment. Our test SUV also had a hands-free tailgate and manual folding flat seats that are very adaptable. Fuel economy How much fuel do you use? The optional V6 consumes more fuel than the four-cylinder engine. With all-wheel drive, the EPA expects a combined fuel economy of 22 mpg. Our AWD equipped test Atlas averaged 23.5 mpg on our 115 mile evaluation route, indicating that the rating is accurate. However, that still falls behind rivals with three rows and V6 engines like the Honda Pilot and Toyota Highlander. Is the Atlas worth the money? At its highest trim levels, the Atlas costs a little more than most of its rivals. It achieves that balance by providing numerous useful and simple to use technology and safety features. The lack of horsepower and an abundance of hard plastic in the second and third rows do not appear to be worth the price. But if there are a lot of kids seated behind you, that might be fine. Volkswagen used to have excellent warranty coverage, but it has recently fallen behind. Basic warranties from Kia and Hyundai are by far the best, and powertrain coverage for many other crossovers is better than the Atlas. Although the Atlas isn't as fun to drive as the Mazda CX-9 or Honda Pilot, it should be enjoyable enough for those who don't need sporty capabilities. The 2023 Volkswagen Atlas is available in five trim levels, SE, SE with, Cell, Cell R-Line Black and Cell Premium R-Line. The SE, SE with and cell trims come standard with a turbocharged 2.0 liter four cylinder engine, 235 horsepower, 258 lbft. A 3.6 liter V6 engine, 276 hp, 266 lbft engine is available on the SE with and all the cell permutations. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.